All right, celebrating birthdays on this March 2nd are some rockers. John Bon Jovi celebrating a birthday today. Coldplay's Chris Martin is too. So is yours truly, but nobody cares about that. There is, though, another notable face here at Queen's Park celebrating a birthday today. Finance Minister Peter Bethenthalvey. I was keen to catch up with the birthday boy this afternoon. Happy birthday. Well, the same to you, Richard, and Daniel Craig, James Bond. 007. You know, the company we keep. He's a lot cooler than we are. Well, but, <laughs> I won't go along with that. Oh, Listen, you're pretty cool. I have one wish for my birthday, and that's a quick one-on-one -on -one with the finance minister. What do you think? Can you make an happen? Let's, let's grant that birthday wish. Why not? Just if what I want. If no one else does, we will. <laughs> Just what I wanted. All right, the FAO was a big story this week, and yet again they said your government is underspending. For the first three quarters of the fiscal year, $6 billion underspent. You always say this is a snapshot in time of this is a constant thing. But well, why are you underspending? Well, uh, no, you have to look at the Auditor General's uh, public accounts when we actually get the audited results. And all, all you have to do is look at the historic and unprecedented investments that we're making. For example, in the healthcare sector, building hospitals like we've never seen before. I uh, increased it to $40 billion of capital projects over the next 10 years, $160 billion total infrastructure budget. Should there be more transparency about how you're spending people's money, like there's this big contingency fund? Shouldn't we detail where everyone's money no, is going? No, I'm going to challenge 100% the FAO. We are the most, I'm very transparent. I came from the private sector. This government and I personally are out every 90 days talking to you, Richard, taking questions in the House about how we spend the, the people's money. Every quarter we're out. Minister, before I get to my last question, I have a birthday gift for you. I wanted to get you a cake, but we're in a kind of a tight fiscal constraint here in Ontario. I got you a slightly oversized cookie instead. Happy birthday. I'm wondering this budget you mentioned, will we be getting a cake or will we be getting the cookie in the budget? Well, Richard, this is very kind. Of, you know, who knew you had such a big heart? But, uh, and a big wallet. And a big wallet. I mean, look at this, folks, and, and look at that. Uh, 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 an extra sized cookie but let me tell you stay tuned um, all will be revealed on March 23rd when we table the budget will there be more help though for people who are struggling in this high inflationary environment well we're on constantly uh, I, I, our government understands how many people have been affected by historic high interest rates of the last couple of decades inflation that's why last year in my budget we reduced the gas tax that's why we increased the rebate for low-income families and individuals of some of the lowest personal income taxes in the land. Thank you for making my birthday wish come true. A quick one-on-one -on -one with the finance minister. Do you have any birthday wishes I can make come true? More interviews with Richard Southern. How about that? Can we do that? I like that. You can do that anytime. All Happy right, birthday, man. sir. Happy birthday to you, Richard. When it comes to the budget, opposition leaders tell me what they want to see is uh, some major initiatives by the government to tackle the affordability crisis as well as the climate crisis. Birthday boy, Finance Minister Peter Bethenthalvey will table that budget a couple weeks today on March 23rd.